Hey guys, I am here with this month's design team challenge. Now, <laughs> I have brought you this particular idea before, going as far back as May of 2014 when I first came on camera and said, Tim, why don't you do blueprint tissue with your blueprint stamps? <laughs> I will link that video in the description below. I love Tim Holtz's blueprint stamps. Who doesn't? And I really do wish he would do blueprint tissue. Just the blueprints. Like, that would just be really cool. Anyway, he doesn't, but we're hoping. I'm still hopeful. Um, so the, uh, that was where I first had the idea to do custom tissue paper. And so, of course, you can do this with any stamps, and you only need a couple things. You need some waterproof ink, stamps, of course, and tissue paper. And I love to collage with tissue paper. I love the thinness of it, the way it really becomes very translucent when you collage with it, and you really only see the stamped image. It's very thin. I love that about it. Um, I love it, and I find that I love it more than working with napkins because it's easier to get it wrinkle-free. Uh, napkins can be really finicky. So that being said, let's make some blueprint tissue. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the first thing is I took some pieces of gift tissue, um, big pieces, and I cut them into like fourths, or um, on the case of the um, brown one, I cut it into six pieces. Because, um, you know, I don't necessarily want a gigantic piece of the same kind of tissue that I then have for eternity. I just want a little bit of each one. So I'm going to take and pick <clears throat> one of my stamp designs, and um, you could do it with any of them. You all know if you've been watching me do these challenges for a while, for 2016, this set happens to be my favorite. I love this set. I love the um, versatility of this particular one. So we're going to go with that. Now, if your stamps, like your cling stamps are no longer sticky, you just need to clean the back. And that usually brings the sticky back. So when they get dirty and or dusty, then they don't really stick very well. So we are going to arra arrange some of the designs here on this acrylic block. So what I do is arrange the designs in sort of a random fashion. I love these arrows. might want to just do that for now and then stamp them ink them up and stamp them on your tissue paper let it dry before you use them and then you have a custom embellishment item that you can use in your next journaling project. And you can use it on your art journal pages, you can use it on greeting cards, you can use it on tags, you can do anything with it. So then I just stamp it until the whole thing is really covered. My favorite thing still is to do blueprint tissue. Tim, I really need blueprint tissue. <laughs> really, really, really. Somebody should like tell Tim for me, I need blueprint tissue. So then you just do this and then you have an interesting, fun, easy piece of uh, paper that you can do uh, collage with and use into your next project. Um, and it's fun to stamp these and maybe share them with friends. You can stamp a number of these and put some little tissue packets together and do an exchange maybe with some online friends. So that's my idea for this month. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give it a try. And if you want to buy any of my stamps, go into the um, Etsy shop. The link's in the description below. The design team members have come up with their own ideas for this month's prop prompt. And... Um, 
I understand some of the 2017 design team members might be doing something also. Any of those videos I will link in the description below. Go show their channel some love and watch their videos. That's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.